Hey guys, it's Fish Tank Galore bringing you another freshwater community fish video. Today we'll be covering the community fish, the rosy barb. Now the rosy barb is slightly aggressive, so it's not the best fish if you have a lot of docile fish in the tank, and it's not the best fish if you keep it in large schools, because the more of them there are, the more confident they will be, and the more likely they will be to pick on your smaller fish. The males tend to have a lot more red scales on the underbelly and the sides and a little less gold on the top and the females will be mostly gold on the top as you can see or for some people it's greenish on the top. They come in two different kinds. They have this one which is a veil tail and then they have a standard one which has regular fins. They're an extremely active fish so you might want to have a larger tank if you're going to have a couple of them or even one of them because they're very active swimmers. They like to swim around the tank. Now these things will eat fish pellets and flake food and if you want to keep yours in the best condition as far as color goes you should probably also feed them some crushed and dried out plants. Normally lettuce works the best if you dry it out in the sun because it will grow bacteria on it. Um, they like to live in waters that is 74 to 79 degrees Fahrenheit so pretty easy to keep with all your tropical fish because they like it warm. Um, they like 30 gallon tanks because, like I said, they need room to uh, roam around and stuff. During the day they will swim across the tank back and forth pacing and if you have two males in the tank they'll be fighting for territory all the time. What they'll do is they'll look like they're playing tag but they're really chasing each other out of each other's territory. Um, you should normally have one male and two females in the tank and they will school up and they will form breeding trios. Um, when they hatchlings are hatched you're gonna to have to take the male and female um, adults out of the tank because they will eat their hatchlings and the uh, fish fry are gonna to have to eat baby brine shrimp some other things about this is they won't eat ghost shrimp despite their size which is a pretty good thing I've had a bunch of ghost shrimp in the tank and they've seemed to be totally fine with them and they're also okay with neons so they're also good with your smaller fish um, they're not cichlids, so they don't no normally bother the plants or anything like that. They do like a planted tank, though, because it's more natural for them. They are Amazonian plant or uh, Amazonian fish, so they do like a planted tank. As far as gravel goes, they like larger rocks for whatever reason. Um, I think it has something to do with the way that they lay their eggs, because they lay their eggs on the floor of the uh, of the tank. As you can see there, they also like the rocks because that's where they normally make what I like to call their house is when they go to sleep, they go to sleep in these rocks. They get about six inches long, which is pretty big, and they're one of the larger barb species, but they're one of the less aggressive barb species. So if you're looking for a colorful barb that is not so aggressive, but looks really pretty, and you want a veil tail fish, then this is probably a really good fish for you to have. This has been Fish Tanks Galore, and please leave your comments in the comment section if you want me to do a specific fish. Also, I'm gonna have more coral and saltwater fish come out or videos come out as soon as I can get my hands on some more. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe and comment.